there. And now, hello everyone and good morning, <laughs> especially after the little mini drama that we just had at 10.30. I have no idea why it did that. But anyway, we've managed to manoeuvre it around in a different way. Instead mm. of me, it wouldn't allow me on this new broadcast that we're doing right here now, it wouldn't actually allow me to add myself in. So at the moment, what you're getting is a lot yeah, it wouldn't give me the video or whatever back. So I'm still sitting in the back end as a guest, even though I'm the host. But what I'm doing <laughs> now, I've managed to join in as a guest on my iPad. And that's how you are seeing me as the visual and the sound. So we did a workaround, didn't we, Leanne? <laughs> we did. You know, there's always a way around these technical issues. Yeah. We've just got to be a bit more smarter than that, oh, <laughs> than yeah. the technical. Yeah. 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 So how are you this morning? I'm not too bad, thank you, and yourself? Uh, I'm feeling a little calmer now that we've managed to get at least <laughs> something on the screen. So how long we take with it is just up to whatever spirit guides us for, I think, in this yeah, one. That's it, exactly. Um, it was funny. I'm sitting in the background going, breathe, Roz, breathe, <laughs> Roz, <laughs> sending you the messages. Oh, exactly when there was no video or sound from my end. <laughs> and I went, went out and did the refreshment. I know Adair and Theone would fully understand all this because they had issues with one this morning at 6 o'clock too. So. Oh, did they? So maybe yeah. um, Facebook is going, or Facebook Bay, Bay Live is going through algorithm changes again. Well, Mom, I think okay. it was something to do with possibly an upgrade update of something in Facebook. Yep. I did get presented with having to rejoin my Be Live to my Facebook. So uh -huh. some of the settings, because I didn't have time to actually look at it thoroughly, um, yeah, I wanted to get on. We only had the 10 minute window. Um, so I actually didn't click everything. So if something does look glitchy somewhere along the line, well, apologies, but it's not my fault. <laughs> so, <laughs> just it's called it. technology. Universal <laughs> yeah, energy. Yeah. So, I love it. Oh, a lot I going guess on. I am practicing the deep breathing right now. Mm, sort of. Okay. Yeah, shallow deep breathing. <laughs> If you can do such a thing. <laughs> it's gradually coming down. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And it was, um, even in that, it's actually funny because what we had talked about earlier this morning was, uh, like when we were going to go on originally at the 10.30, it was, you know, we'd asked each other how we gone and the rest, and I thought, oh, God, I'm just feeling so sad. Um, yep. In the last three three days pretty much I've had a deep sadness around me and not really been able to shift that. And I sort of, as chatting with you, it, oh, I don't know whether it's depression or not. I mean, do you know if it's depression when it hits you or what? Or is it just something that's downloading or is it, you know, it, it's that big question mark sometimes. Yeah. And I thought, well, it is actually okay to be sad. Um, and especially when you open Facebook to get ready to do some shared postings and the rest of what was supposed to be the original one of these. And the first thing that I saw was the tower spire and the roof of the Notre Dame burning as a video in the news. Yeah. And I, oh, yeah. that really created like a depth of something that's like a, oh, it, it is very hard to explain. It's almost like a soul cry. You know, it was mm -hmm. that sort of depth that I was feeling it. No tears. It it was, I don't know, like it's just hard to explain. Yeah. It so could be part that's of what the I first empathic. started with. Yeah. yeah. That's it. It can be part of the empathic side of us as well, feeling that sadness. There's a lot of history there. Uh, a lot of people will be affected by it. So I, sometimes we can't help to not take that energy on ourselves. So and thing. I'm just getting as well as far as our past life history as well you know there's experiences yeah. that each one of us may have had in that realm in the middle ages in the medieval times of actually being there Very and true. that's 
possibly yeah. why there is some hint of the depth of sadness there for me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and it really is, it, it's past history uh, and so many things in our past history, of course, have been destroyed for one reason or another. Age in that particular instance, those timbers would be extremely old, of course. Mm. And you know, all the other factors, wars destroy things, deliberately destroying history in some of the Middle Eastern wars, you've yeah. seen that happen. And so much else that's, oh, it just creates that sadness. And I thought, well... Like you said, deep breathing. What if we just start this one, this show this morning with just a little bit of the sound of, um, you know, different, the different, I've got brought in the two different instruments that I thought would suit really nicely to lead into and have while we do a short meditation just to feel, you know, for each one of us to actually allow that feeling of the sadness to be aware of it but also to have it pass on pass through as the experience that witness rather than affecting how it's how our day is going to be because nothing in that realm can actually um you know we choose to be happy sad and all the rest well with with the hoo-ha of trying to get this live i'm feeling quite happy now (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we're live. We're here. We've got the main bigger picture happening. <laughs> and sharing time. But I thought, well, I mean, yeah. there's, there's never any really perfect time for doing meditations besides the moment that you feel that you need to go into it, which is what I do daily. You know, sometimes just that sitting still and in the silence and closing your eyes, the deep breath, let your shoulders drop. That for me can be meditation. So, yeah. Oh, what I thought I'd do, and this is, now I've got to bring it up and I've got to remember how to do this because I've got a different <laughs> combination of screens now. And I'll do that solo. Now, this is my cosmic tone drum and I'll actually turn off the frame. I can't turn off my little branding up the top and the bottom. And even down the bottom with what Ecamm comes up with, I'm not going to bother with the fussy stuff it's enough that we're alive. Uh, we're alive? That we are live. <laughs> Even. It's definitely and, a challenge this morning. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I'll just do a sample of the sound of this, show everyone the drum, which I'm not sure how I'd do that one. We'll try it out when I get to it. The medicine drum, that is. So. Then I have to change the screen back to me, I think. And this one is, I'm hoping that you can see me. Hey, look at that. (laughs) This is the normal camera. It's normal camera I'm supposed to be on, but because I'm as a guest in my own show, this is so interesting. Um, Thank God for cameras. (laughs) So I am showing up on the live stream yes. with my drum. Yep. Um, yep. I'll put it in front of my face. It's a beautiful raw deer hide. Now, this was created several years ago as I was doing my shaman training and it has been fully and properly honoured with ceremony, smoke ceremony, tobacco ceremony and all that is relevant in the culture of what is the Native American Indians, and at that point in time that created this as a sacred medicine drum, and that is how I play it. So uh, I'm going, I don't know where I'm supposed to point this for the sound, but I'm hoping it's not too loud. So Leanne or audience, you might need to tell me if oh, it know. is, and I haven't been monitoring the comments at all. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them, sorry. Um, So that's what we're going to use. Um, 
I'm going to put that as intuitive guidance. Now, what we're going to try is whilst I'm starting on the cosmic tone drum that Leanne will do a guided meditation for us of sorts, you know. Um, <laughs> we, and you the be, uh, we sort of had a <laughs> quick chat about the what, <laughs> the how, that this okay. was how. She'll, she'll sort of, I, I did throw this at her. <laughs> put, put, put Leanne on solo so that you have Leanne's visual as we're actually leading into a meditation. Okay. Now it's time to take a nice deep breath and exhale. Allowing your breath in through the nose and breathing, exhaling through the mouth. With each breath in, I want you to go deeper and deeper, allowing your body to relax. In your chair behind your back, feeling your legs sitting on the seat, letting go of any tension that you may be holding on to in your body. Releasing everything with each exhale. I want you to see the white light from the universe come down through your crown chakra at the top of your head. Bring that beautiful white light down through your third eye. Through your throat chakra and into your beautiful heart space. warm light sits in your heart I want you to sit with yourself and be conscious of the feelings the emotions or anything that you are holding on to this is the time and the place to acknowledge them If the emotions need to come out, they need to be released. And then the beat of the drum radiate through your body. Acknowledging each thought, each emotion. And releasing it to the universe. And as we release that all to the universe, we feel our body feeling much lighter. At peace. Feeling very relaxed as it's now time to start to come back within yourself. Taking a nice deep breath becoming aware of how that breath feels in your body, exhaling out through the mouth. And with each breath coming into your body, I want you to become more aware of how you're feeling and your shoulders are sitting. Your back is resting on the chair. Maybe your feet on the floor wiggling your toes and when you're ready you can open your eyes
wonderful. Take note of how you're feeling. Sure, which camera I'm on? iPad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had a bit of muffled sound by the look at comments there, or a comment it's a there. Muffled, was it? Yeah, that's right. Very muffled. Okay. I can Might be because of the different cameras, maybe. And it could also be the different sounds, uh, different microphones. Um, what do you call them? Not microphones. Speakers that people have. So, but it's, it is good to actually try something new and something mm. different. So I'm just going to, oh, just with the first drum. Uh, okay. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. So instead, I'm not going to, I won't be putting up all of the comments. I'll just say, as I'm scrolling through, what I'll do is just scroll and I'm going to put that on, whoops trying to get <laughs> me back on that screen so and then do the screen share back up and drop me as the guest down it looks like i'm here by myself again <laughs> roz you need to come back <laughs> there we are can't hear you roz got no sound Tanya, um, you turned on the Mac, you turned the sound down, remember? Yeah, but I've got the AirPods in, so it should it should work okay. with the AirPods. We will get these technical not. issues sorted out. We're learning. We are learning. Yeah. So I am going to have yeah. to face this one. I'm going to have to face yeah. the iPad, which means I'm going to be a bit... Oh, hang on. No, because I've you got the, the right the... angle, don't I? Uh, Rose, oh, look, I'm you just going to be volume. a vision in between. You'll get my profile. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Rose, you turn the volume down on the Mac to stop the echo. So maybe the volume the down Mac, might. The Mac is down. So. Oh, okay. Um, Were you just going through the Mac screen? I did turn the volume down. What's it do when I put the volume up on the iPad? Can you hear me That's better very... with that? No, it doesn't change. It's more no, like. See, that's how I'm. That's how I'm actually getting you, is hearing you on that because these are actually just blocking any feedback. Ah, uh, like the okay. AirPods are just blocking any feedback. Yep. The mic might be, and I don't know this. The mic might be just what is the iPad, or it could be. <laughs> it could be my producer. I don't know. <laughs> Jasmine's hearing us perfectly, so that's okay. We will Good. stay with that. Yeah. So just I'm, just going to, I'm just going to acknowledge those who are here rather than putting up the comments of everything. I'll just say hi to Amy, to Erin, to Ashton, to Deb, and I'm working from what I can see from the bottom up. So to Jen, to Shakti, Amy, and if I double up, that's too bad. <laughs> the moment. I can see, yes, there is some questions wanting some answers there. So Monica, hi, Julie, Melanie, Mary, Amanda, there's a Monica again, and Amy, I think I've already said, Tiffany, Jasmine, Deb, and Amy, oh, that's the comment about just the first run being the quiet one. Yeah. Simone, Mary, Amanda. Oh, not muffled now. I wonder when that was. I think oh, it was only yeah. the cosmic drum that was muffled by the sound of it. Yeah. And then when I dropped yeah. out to drop me out and put the shared screen eCam one on, which you didn't have the volume for, we've got it sorted. You can hear me. <laughs> It's learning out loud. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. So I'll leave that sharing one to it. And oh, just Actually, that, you um, to... Yeah, you go oh, for it. Sorry, I was just going to say, do you want to bring Sin's message up? I'm just Please? trying. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was just going down to the first ones there because that's how I yep. do it. But where's what timestamp? Hey, uh, yes. At 11.19, it's bigger one. 
that's the thank you so much, ladies, and I'll yeah. go like that with ours, which makes and it... And she's just saying, uh, yesterday, sobbing for some reason, I think I might be involving and letting go. The music is delightful, love and light, and any guidance would be appreciated. Thanks, Sin, for your feedback. It is really appreciated. Yeah. Um, I think I just wanted to touch on that because there are times that we do feel the emotion and energy in our own body because it builds up over time. Now, for myself, I can have days where I get to a certain point, the emotion is there, it needs to be released. It's energy that we are holding on to. And for Ros and myself doing this work and anybody else that is quite intuitive, we can carry the energy of other people. So we may feel things within our body, our emotions, that we don't realise why it whether it's as its spirit or it's a person around us. We take it on like it physically is as. So it is important to acknowledge it. So I'm a big believer in if there's emotion there that needs to come out, allow it to come out. Don't try to hold back because what you are doing is suppressing that energy and you will find that it's just going to keep manifesting. So you are better to take those moments, whether it's five minutes, it's four hours, it's the day, and allow that energy out. My husband can come home at night and say to me, are you all right? I go, yes, I'm fine. He knows that that is that energy release if I'm sitting there in tears. It doesn't happen very often, but it's a buildup of energy that we need to let go of. Be creative, be, you know, go out and paint, draw, find a way to release that energy, go for a run, a walk, get the breath work happening because they are ways that we can move that energy um, before that emotion builds up. So it's important to really let go of it. All yeah. right. So, that is so true. And yep. acknowledge it's also and let go. The, yeah. And it's also mm -hmm. the knowing too when you need to have the rest because that's what I felt over the last three yes. days. I virtually did sit in a chair, you know, watching Netflix. I needed to veg out for some reason. It, that yeah. was my way of doing it. And I was <laughs> another thing on Facebook. My daughter had a little video that she'd done running along the Maiponga My Ponga? My Ponga mm -hmm. Reservoir. There's a new path oh, yeah. thing that's opened their trap for yeah. walking. Can't take dogs oh, or anything, nice. but you can run. And there it is, bounce, 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 and it's giving me motion sickness. <laughs> I think, no, there's no way I'm energetic enough to do that, <laughs> especially not after the three days I've had. So, yeah. 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 But yeah. even just going for a walk, just a, you know, a stroll type of thing, get out with yeah. nature, ground yeah. yourself. Have yeah. some chocolate if you need an excuse for oh, chocolate. Yes. Mind you, I yeah, ate nearly I a whole rabbit too. last night. <laughs> I haven't gone to the Easter ones yet. <laughs> that may or may not happen. I do have some of my family visiting, so that's good. Yeah. yeah. And it Beautiful. is. It's, um, oh, the energy is, while it's shifting, it's around, it's different for everybody. But I think the, there, there does seem to be an overall shift. And I haven't kept up to date with my astrology at the moment either or the other feeds. Mm. What are you feeling around that? Is there an actual energy shift? Yeah, with moon? I think there is. We've moon. come down out of that Mercury retrograde, so we've really felt that shift, but there is a little bit more of a heavy energy that's coming in. I think it's a positive change, but, you know, we need to realise that we need to acknowledge this stuff as it comes up and let it go, not fight it, because we get more exhausted when we do fight that energy. I know I do. I'm, you know, Mercury retrograde, I think I was two weeks in, I was frustrated. Yeah. I'm like, I'm just over this, but I knew I'd go to fight it. I need to let it go because it's just going to bring yeah. me down even more. So it's important to acknowledge how we're feeling and yeah. just to sit in that moment and clear your mind and acknowledge the feelings, the thoughts that come up, to let them go. That yes. way they're not just building up yeah. to breaking point. And it is okay to experience all that. And it is. Okay. When that, it's human. It's <laughs> yes. a human action yeah. that we do. Yeah. So we're and no lesser or no better for it, but we just, yeah. you know, we need to be. It's, well, it's part of part of the path we're on, all of it. Yep. So, yeah. Exactly. Good fun when you realise that. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a bit <laughs> to get past the fog or the yep. uh, yeah, um, 
I just sort of <laughs> start on some of these questions. There's not going to be, I'm not expecting many because oh. we've had a muck up with the way yeah. our broadcasts are gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um, so Ashton's just expressing how she loves her work and wanting to know if there's another baby boy or girl in line for her. I'm getting a yes myself. Um, I do your turn. I'm drawn to a boy. Are you? Oh, I'm drawn to a yeah. girl. Maybe there's You were saying, I'm oh, making twins. Yeah. Your baby days certainly are not over, honey. <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, so yeah. There you go. I'm a single <laughs> oh, Love yes. it. And Amy is actually hoping for a message around health. Okay. And I'll put you on solo. So are you getting anything there? Um, yeah. Now, just claim as, as usual for anyone that's asking about health and the rest, you still need to continue onward with your usual yeah. professionals that you seek help from. That's it. Because we're not yeah. trained in health at all. We're just the messenger between spirit and yourself. So um, in saying that, I was kind of picking up a little bit of anxiety, honey, so we are sort of feeling out a bit around the chest at the moment. My stomach is burning with your energy, but I feel that you hold on to energy, so stress around the stomach. So I want to say um, just under the rib area, I get that in heightened energy there with that side of it. Um, I do want to say just watch... Maybe the food intake, what sort of foods that you are eating that makes you feel that little bit discomfort, so a little bit of bloating that goes with that. So I don't know if you're sensitive more to dairy. Um, I actually feel like I've got the green leafy type lettuces and stuff like that, the more higher acid foods that are sort of irritating your health. I'm certainly not getting any warning bells going off around your health. I do feel like it's more about maintaining your health, though, in that sense, okay? So I want to say just breathe, ground yourself. The anxiety side of stuff is energy that you are picking up around. I do feel you're a little bit intuitive yourself too, honey. So you may find that you're when it comes to your body, that things are a little bit more in heightened because you're more in touch. You feel things probably more before they come to the forefront sort of thing, okay? So just watch the diet. Remember to breathe, ground yourself. I'm not feeling anything to be extremely worried about, okay? And as I've swapped over now to the ecam screen the shared screen i've got two cards that popped out for you there um and i can't remember who it was i was answering that for it was amy amy yes. i just had yep. to have a look there um <laughs> it's the scythe and the tree what i like about the lenormand deck is it's very literal if it if that's the type of answer you're after and to me looking at the scythe it's just telling me to tell you cut out the grains and there's the tree that's actually the end you said grounding and that's what a tree yep. definitely and the is greens. in Mother nature. So there you go. Yeah. That you couldn't get more accurate than that. I do want to just say though, I am noticing a lot of people coming out um, with health issues and the medical profession are not being able to find what it actually is. So people are going and having all this testing done and they keep getting it's clear that it's nothing there with that. I'm a big believer when we hold on to stuff in our energy field and we don't let it go, it starts to manifest in the physical, in the body side of it. So I want to say when you're coming back from the doctors and they're giving you those results where they can't find what's wrong with you, I want you to look at your energy field. I want to look at, I want to say, look at the stresses and stuff that you're holding on to, the things in the past that you may need to let go of as well because our bodies do, we carry that energy if we don't let it go. So um, I do think it's very important to do that work, that grounding, that breathing, that letting go. Ros is smiling. She's come up with something in the background there. <laughs> I'm forgetting that I've still got me. I thought I'd solo <laughs> <laughs> well, I can still see you. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I am on my back end of it. I looked and thought, uh oh, it is both of us. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just Doesn't add that matter. one up to there. I'm just looking at this next one. Uh, okay, hang on. Um, how do we do this again? That'll do. 
That'll do for now. Um, <laughs> I've got the screen there. <laughs> I was looking at Julie's and I thought, I'll shuffle the cards. You can read it while I'm doing that. And I just, yeah. <laughs> <bummer. laughs> I mucked up the, the, the smooth uh, flow of that. I didn't work. Didn't work yeah. out right. So it, can you see okay. anything there for Julie? And now you're on solo. <laughs> Okay. All right, honey. Hey, Julie. Hope you're well. I I actually get the reference to the energy around you is really hectic at the moment, and there is the need to stop and to breathe, to ground yourself as well. Now, I do feel your father's energy is around you. He's got his hand on his heart, which is my sign for love and pride for yourself. I also feel like I'm looking at heart issues, the chest sort of side of things as well with him. So I do feel there were a few health issues around him. I get a loving energy around um, like coming through from him. He makes reference to being very much around you. So I do feel that you sense him around the house and I need to acknowledge the small photo in the frame. So whether you sit with that photo at times or you find yourself glancing at the photo of him, I actually feel like I've got a second person in the photo as well. But I do get the reference to his soul is around you at that very time and I get he hears you talk to him. So you just need to to listen to what he's trying to tell you so I want to say uh, trust your feelings your thought um, trust what you feel think see hear and what you know because generally that's the simple way of explaining to you how spirit will communicate with you all right but I get a lot of love and a lot of pride okay so thank you honey and the cards that uh, came up for that is ship the mountains and the key um it just feels like, you know, having travelled off, having gone over into, into the other worlds or wherever we end up, you know, as far as passing over, it really is yep. just like a travel, um, you know, you, you don't have to battle okay. with what is the mountains in your life and you're set free. You know, the doors open. So it's it's just that feeling of he's been set free and it is all good there, you know, it, it just it, it feels happy feels like a holiday sort of thing just yeah i'm feeling a very happy feeling around those as i was mm. laying down i almost started giggling why did he like sailing or something like that it just the boat um whether that's my thing or whether it's your dad's <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Yeah, so you said they have felt you. stuck in his body when he was here so the the frustration with the body the vessel Okay. Mm. Yeah, so we're yeah. back there again. And I've got another one. This one's from Mary Lee's. Feeling less and less around me. Is he still with me? Um, as far as loved one goes. What is your understanding on the energies that um, we understand as being our souls that are mm -hmm. on the other side? What is your understanding of, you know, how long are they actually around? Is it an unlimited timeline that we're looking at or yeah. is there some form of you know use by date yeah I believe, back? yeah well what spirit shows me i believe it's an unlimited time date because everything leaves a impression of energy on the universe on the world on our lives sort of thing so even though on that soul level that soul may move into another life and be reborn you know everybody has their own beliefs in that side of it but what i believe is that soul can be reincarnated and will come back in one form or another but we still feel their energy presence around us you know my grandmother has been passed i think i worked out the other week about 28 years i still feel her energy but i believe that she has come back in one form or another since her passing so you know we are feeling that energy that is left behind that residue so to speak it's like going into a shopping center say for us here in Adelaide Marion shopping center is a, a classic you walk into that shopping center in the morning or at night when it's closing down there's hardly anybody around you still feel that residual energy that's our energy that we leave uh, leave behind when we visit places like that so you think about it, the say thousands of people they can get through there a, a day a week sort of thing that all builds up and that's what we feel 
Okay, so I answered that question, I would say it's never ending. All right. Um, so, Mary, I do feel that your dad's still very ma much around you. I get the whistlings. I don't know if you hear the whistling or the tunes at times, but I do feel that he... Um, he finds a way to let you, you know you're there. I also get the tickle behind the ear, so I do feel that he touches you back there to let you know that he's around as well, okay? Oh, that's a different card. I haven't seen that one before. The two faces. Rosa can't hear you. I did mute while I was doing <laughs> the shuffling. <laughs> You did a lot of. Uh, I'm doing a lot of things interestingly today. <laughs> and I'm trying to find the one that shows up the card. So I'm just going to solo it. I'll do it that way again. Um, I just had to smile because is there an unlimited, uh, you know, unlimited timeline for when from the other, we can get that message from the other side? And no, nah, like the stars is the first one. It's just. It's it's pretty much what it's showing there is, and I oh I was supposed to point there. So there you've got the stars, uh, you've got the clover, and you've got the masks. That's one of the expanded cut in the expanded deck, and it's called masks. So what story that's telling me is basically it really is unlimited, and it's the luck of the draw which one you're going to actually get show up. So that's my interpretation of those three cards for what you actually ask, Mary, you know, as far as, you know, is it something that ebbs away? It doesn't. Yeah. It just depends what one, message there is to share and what comes forward in it. Now, oh, I've got to go back to you. And sometimes that, we... Yeah. Like Mary says, I'm feeling uh, less and less around me. Sometimes we can find peace in their, we, we get to that stage where we've found peace in their pasting and we don't need to feel their energy quite as much. doesn't mean they're not there. It just means your life has got busier, you've changed, maybe in a vibrational change because I know as we go through vibrational changes as readers that the way we sense spirit changes as well. So he may be presenting himself just in a slightly different way, honey. Okay. Or even just dropping those little messages that are things that you did in the lifetime you shared as far as the different songs that might be playing that you have a familiar one crop up on a radio or somewhere or, you know, things that you notice in a bookshelf of what might be enjoyed, something you read and enjoyed and shared together. You know, it's little things yeah. like that that sometimes we miss because it was so familiar, but that's the message. Yes. You know? Yeah. So the next one we've got, uh, oh, Monica's actually asking for a six-month reading. Look, those types of readings are what we actually earn our living with. And I'm going to put that out that if you want something that is a bit more detailed like that, both mm -hmm. of us have booking systems that you can all ring. Phone numbers are there on our very, you know, either of our Facebook pages. So... As much as I've got to say, yes, we'll do one now, no, that's one of our boundaries that, well, uh, I know that for Leanne it's one of the boundaries she's setting and it's one of mine as well now. Um, so if there's a specific question that can be answered in, you know, a one or three card spread like I've been doing or how Leanne gets her guidance from spirit, I mean, I do that too, but I don't online. <laughs> I'm finding I like the cards better. <laughs> That's the next you're getting with us, you know. I, so. I just want to add to that. I'm actually sensing, honey, there's a bit of frustration around you, Monica. So I do feel that you're sort of looking at the direction you're heading in at the moment because you're kind of feeling a little bit stuck. So whether you've had to come to a standstill to let this energy catch up, let everything balance out, I just get the reference to that energy will start moving in the next two to three weeks. So just breathe and go with the flow is the feeling I get with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to quickly bring up the cards that did come forward um, for you, Monica, as a quick short three cards because I like three. Three is a good number. So it is the key again, it's the mask again, and a slightly older man. So there's that influence there around you right at the moment. So He's a new card too, number 28. Number 28, <laughs> yeah, it's an older man. There's this about a six, 
different uh, six or eleven year cards, but two of wow. two of them were an older man, an older woman, owls as another birds, and oh, I can't remember them without looking up the list as far as what the actual extent. Well, mask is an, is one. There's a magnifying glass, a well. Um, <sighs> See, I'm still learning. I don't want to do them by heart. They've got to stay in my mind. No, use your intuition. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. So, um, yeah, so that's what's there for you. But oh, I'm looking back at that camera and it's this one. Um, so <laughs> it is. You look at those cards there, Monica, and interpret what you're feeling yourself too because that's, to me, that's your important. more accurate reading as you read them for yourself in a way, <laughs> what you get as well. Okay? Yeah. I think so, it's great that we all use our intuition when it comes to cards and stuff. Yes. Trusting it. We've all got it. I'll put that upside down too. <laughs> Sorry about that now. Did I? Oh, no, I did take her question down. Yeah. Um, and I did see this one from Jasmine. Um, my first instinct on this one, Jasmine, is um, helping with your relationship, yes, it broke up two weeks ago. It is sad when things do end and you know, do need to honour for yourself that grieving process of the breakup. It is a grief process. But also you mentioned you're trying to sort out your finances. That's something that you can easily do by going to someone for financial advice. I, I think there's some help that you can get through an agency. I don't remember what it is now though. Um, no, I can't remember. I could probably try and look that up and send you a message later on that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But even to add to that, honey, see and start, I get the need to just focus on the finances because you need to move forward is the reference I get with that. I actually feel like you're holding on tension in your hip, your back area as well. So um, I you know, sit and write yourself a, um, write it out on paper so you can see the physical of what it is you've got going out, what's coming in and all that stuff. It's really important. Now, this isn't just for you, Jasmine. This is for everybody to focus on what it is you need and see that coming in rather than focusing on the debt and the amount you have because what you're going to do is in that situation you are going to manifest that debt and it's going to keep getting bigger. So if you focus on the positive energy, you are going to see that money come, that money you're seeing coming in will come in. All right. Yep. And the card that, oh, whoops, dropped the comment. Um, there is sunshine ahead. It's just the, that's the only card that it threw itself out and that's the only card you need. Look at the sunshine. Yeah. Look at and what's it's, positive and it's, it is going to be fine, uh, but allow those processes to happen, the grief at a split and everything, and take it calmly when sorting your finances. Yeah, it's funny because I haven't seen that card before because that's a new one too, I think, and I've uh, got the sunshine's knocking on your door. Oh, it is part of the. It may have been updated as a as a image, yeah. but it is part of what is that the the normal Lenormand. Oh, yeah. So it's the sun and so, the moon are definitely in the original deck. I just love the artwork of what uh, Sierra Marchetti actually. Oh, presuming that's how he pronounce how it's pronounced, but uh, yeah. Oh, there's some other decks he's got. Oh, the artistry, superb. <laughs> but you yeah. can't buy you can't buy everything. Um, no, and that's where self control, even for how much <laughs> going through, it does involve self control. Do you really need yeah. it compared to do you want it? And yeah. what's the first step in this situation? What's next and next? And that's all you can do. And it will mm. come up roses, come up sunshine. Yes. So um, mm. <clears throat> I'm just trying to run through these. Oh, Shaz is here now. Oh, well, she was at. <laughs> you can't get past the time stamp, can you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, we have Amanda Jane wondering about is there anything juicy coming her way? Oh, you can manifest anything you like, honey. <laughs> I'm actually getting an exciting feeling. So. Yeah, maybe me too. I want to put travel around you though, hun. So I do feel the need to travel in the next 12 to 18 months. Okay. And I'll just see what the cards are going to throw up for it. What? Oh, something nice letter. Yeah. Whoops. I'll just share that. 
and silo that. So it's, and I'll drop your comment there. So the birds are communication, but that is, oh, the wrong camera again. I've got so used to doing the right thing with the right camera. <laughs> <laughs> the iPad. Um, the birds, as far as the owls, it's it's communication and chattiness. Just beware of gossip and that sort of stuff. But it just feels like communicating something really good because flowers, it's always really nice to get flowers and it's, an, and it's just a nice feeling. Uh, and to go with a letter. So I think, like you said, it probably is things coming up, probably um, tickets or something like that for the travel that you're suggesting that might be ahead. So it is whatever you want to manifest. Oh, yes. exactly. And that's the thing. We've got the power to manifest what we want to. We just need to put that clear picture out to the universe to do it and keep that clear picture, bring in the, the havoc by confusing things. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Um, well, that's a very interesting question, isn't it? Of course they can. Yeah, of course they can. <laughs> very much so. Children from birth right through to around the 10, 10 to 12 years of age are very intuitive. It's usually around the 10 to 12 that they start to, to um, I don't know, become more conditioned away from that but kids these days are staying more and more open okay I always my kids always used to stare off in space they'd look over my shoulder or something would catch their eye and they would lock mm -hmm. eyes on that that is spirit when they get a little bit older look at what they're chatting to and look what they're saying when they're chatting and they're playing and stuff like that because you may find that they will remind you of somebody that has passed over or a message may come through in that way but Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to and go, also, hell yes. <laughs> yeah. And also, too, I mean, the, the babies are born as the soul. It's coming in to experience another yeah. lifetime. So they're not babies. They are old souls most times. Um, actually, I don't know that I've yeah. ever, I can't remember if I've ever heard when a new soul is born. Because there has to be at some point because of the pure population yeah. we've got. So yeah, um, might have to look that one up. Yeah. My daughter's rather dressed up. I'm not sure where she's going. <laughs> Curiosity kills a cat. <laughs> a lunch date with somebody. <laughs> yeah. She's got um, a social life, that child. <laughs> yeah. Uh, social oh. life, what's that? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. She yeah, makes up for me. It. Mm, gets a little bit thin on the ground, but that's all right. Oh, oh, here. Yeah, I'm like well. where I am. So I thank you, ladies. Always so helpful. Yes, a limp dark chocolate bunny and a small one. And I've still a small got a one. Oh my god. I've got the block of chocolate in the fridge, but I haven't Since... done it. Easter shopping yet, so. Yeah, me either. Sin, you are very good at only eating a small one. I got given the big big one, the Cadbury's big one by a beautiful client the other day or last week, yeah. and I sat there last night sniffing the bum of her. <laughs> oh, oh, this smells so good. I think I left. I stopped about that short of the base. Oh. I sat there going, my husband, help me eat this. And he's like, no, I don't want any because it was getting yeah. late. I think it was like 11 yeah. last night. And I'm going, oh, I ate too much chocolate. Well, it's almost almost mm. criminal that they actually make it. It's just not fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty grounded today, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh, there's a couple of questions here now this one yeah. is a bit more like a general but does dad have anything for me please so oh okay honey i for her reading that comment straight away i get i need to acknowledge the celebration or the birthday has, that has just been or about to be so i feel like i need to say happy birthday to somebody very close around you um in the family now i'm not sure if dad had some kidney issues or pain back near the kidneys at some stage on the right hand side because all of a sudden he's just giving me a sharp pain in that sort of lower rib under the rib area with that side of it I get there's a lot of wisdom to dad as well okay so i think at times you hear his voice as well so he just wants to acknowledge or you think you hear his voice is probably more the way he puts it i do feel that he speaks to you honey okay 
And as I, I don't know what I did with the screens, but I think I had a solo there with the cards. I'm not sure what I was doing. Yeah. Um, just a quick one, very uh, definitely a strong energy with the two male cards, men, ma oh. the man cards coming up, the younger and the older, and just the, the key being the set free. Um, so whatever that means for you, I would say he, he probably was a very strong masculine man. So that's the two differences, by the way, of what the two men cards, male cards are in the now. Are these showing up as crooked? I'm trying to get yep. them straight. That's, Whoop, that's straight. Right. I'm actually, yeah, it's getting better. I'm actually looking at them thinking, is that the same person just aged more? I don't know. Don't know. I haven't <laughs> looked at them that closely. I just, you know. Facial I, I just, Do me readings. Oh, hang on. Got to go back to that. Sorry, drop that down. <laughs> oh, I'll get this right. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. And, well, it could be there was the two cards there because there's another one that's wanting some messages from Dad. The man must be knocking at the door today. <laughs> Did you do me before? Is Dad? No, that was Deb. It's a different Julie. So it's a different oh, yeah, girl. Yeah, lead. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's the, um, definitely the focus this week or today, I should say. Every yeah, week yeah. we seem to have a different subject sort of thing. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, it does trend that way, doesn't okay. it? Okay. So it's for Julie. Um, Straight away, honey, as I connect to his energy, I kind of feel a little bit of frustrating energy, but very much in my own head. He's given me the dryness to the throat. So whether he had issues around the throat, this I feel like he couldn't say the things he wanted to say, but I do feel like I'm looking at swallowing is quite hard. So I don't know if Dad was the smoker over time. But I just get the reference to look at the damage that was done around the throat area with that side of it, okay? He makes me feel like my voice is getting a little bit husky. So whether you noticed a change in his voice over time as well, but I just get the reference to... Um, looking at the changes around there okay now i do feel like somebody carries a photo of him in a little locket type thing so i've got that oval shape gold locket um that opens up with a little photo in it as well so i don't know if that's something you have got or somebody in the family has got but he just wants me to acknowledge that side of it okay i feel number 27 is really strong around you too hun so whether i'm looking at a 27th of a month but i just get the reference to the number 27 okay mm. so i'll leave you with that and as i popped up the card it is the cross which is 36 adding up it does do the nine as far as a numerology an ending a finish a completion yep. so i thought i'd just pop that in because that it was only the one card that was needed mm. for you so um how that is relevant for you you will understand and i'll drop that back out uh, now kate has put uh oh whoops hang on i've got to hide one and then put up the other one don't i <laughs> so i've gone back to kate <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it work? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a very general one. If you want to answer that or we can go on because it is general anything for me, please. We do ask that you do specific questions. Did you so, want to do that one, hun? Do you want to maybe pull um, a card? I will buy a card on that one. So I, uh, what's coming through is a, a different pathway for me. So whether the card will bring that up you're making a choice oh, making a choice about something different happening what's a ring okay that's all you need are you considering a relationship and moving to oh hang on <laughs> we can't see the cards <laughs> sorry about that i forgot to put the cards up yes there's oh is it showing them yes it no, is. I can't see it yet, but just take a second to kick in my end. It does. There it it is. should be. There it You've is. got the ring and the older man. So mm -hmm. I would say there's um, a level of commitment about to move into your life with a man. So mm -hmm. that's that's what I've got here in the cards. You'll know more in more detail what that means for you. So there you go. And I'd say mature man, oh, so man. it's going to be a... What's, what's your feeling around that as it pops up? Really? Yeah, I just got the older man, so I feel like a male that's a little bit older than you. Mm. So that was around relationship, I think, being the ring. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs>
Um, hopefully that answered something for you. And that was for um, Kate. Kate. Now, we might make it the next couple only because we are moving up to midday, yes. which is sort uh, of we, we're still doing the hour-ish. We, we were just going to go with what we were led to do. So, um, uh, yeah. Thank you, Amy. I've taken myself off wheat and sugar, so maybe the dairy as well. So that's yeah. in response. So Amy's actually given us feedback about the reading that we gave her earlier. Yeah. And uh, I think really the scythe with the, that's what I see as far as the scythe card goes, that it, it is harvest and it is wheat, it's a cereal. So that's really good. Thanks for sharing that really with us too, Amy. Yeah. Julie's just given us feedback on her dad with the throat too. Very oh, yeah. Number 54, that's interesting. Which one? 11, whoop, trying to get and Julie with a double A, 1154. Yeah, just got it. So that's well on the spot on. And in the, oh, yeah. no wonder I was feeling the yeah. throat. You yeah, made me feel like my throat. throat was so dry. Yeah, and that was the cross he yeah. had to bear. He couldn't communicate. Yeah, yeah. and the even the way um he didn't want to die that would be the frustration that i was feeling mm -hmm. so thank you and i really appreciate yes, that feedback thank you. Thanks, yeah man. it's good sometimes to understand why we feel certain things because he straight away just took me to the throat yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well, I'm still only at the at the half hour mark. I mean, it just seems to be that last half hour of comments just won't get read, uh, pretty much, yeah. uh, which is fine. I'll try I to get through them myself later. Is there anyone out of that lot that you've seen that we haven't answered that you want to? Um, well, I, I've started a new trick on my live shows on Wednesday night. I just flick the mouse and wherever it stops is where I read. <laughs> Sort of things I used to start from the oh, bottom up cool. and work my way. <laughs> then I can keep a track of those that I follow up with afterwards because I like to at least offer a, a one or a three card quick reading. And what I've actually been yeah. doing is the, the video, doing a quick recorded video of that. Um, and it's not a guarantee I'll do it every time either. So it's potluck, like I have in the description. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just had to put this up because it's cracking her up, it cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's pitch. funny what spirit does to us. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Um, oh. I think we might do this one of Rachel's. Is there any messages okay. from mum or brothers or aunt him? And that's a large framework oh. to work within. So who are okay. you getting anything from? Pressure to the head, the stroke. So I feel like somebody's had a stroke or impact to the head honey i actually feel like i want to go around your brother with that side of it would i be right in saying he was very stubborn when it come to his health um because i feel like he didn't focus on himself much but he keeps giving me and i don't know if i want to say stroke or i want to say impact but he keeps giving me that feeling straight to the top of the head um with that yeah. side of it i do feel that you feel his energy around you and i get look at the messages through the music all right mum's very uh, quiet energy is very loving very caring sort of energy but i do feel she's very much more on the quieter side around that but i can't look at the changes you're going through at the moment so i do feel that things are changing in your life and they're more positive okay lots of love there yeah. okay and the cards that i've um been able to pull out for you are the lilies the sun and the dog and it just feels to me like there is peacefulness coming ahead for you um and with things as we've already said around the sun you know it's all potential that is there that the sun shines on what you're doing and especially having the dog there it's a loyalty you know it's like loyalty it's the friendship it's all that you know that you you're eager to have welcome you in a day you know, you get yeah. home from work and you've got a dog that'll jump all over you because it's happy to see you in the sunshine because it gives great love, you know, a, a more loving, warm energy. The lilies, you know, it's it really is. Uh, um, someone said to me, I mean, they just remind me of death. And I sort of, no, you don't really see them just on a coffin. They are, it's it's a piece. It's they're beautiful yeah. 
flowers. They they give that depth of that's gee, what, what further is there to look into when you're looking at lilies? So that's what came up there for you. And I'll go back to that and drop that out. And I think we probably should end it on that. I'll just do one more <laughs> flick to see. <laughs> oh, Sin's actually asking for a card reading. Now, this is where I'll say I'll message you later for that one because I think we do need to actually get moving on more things in our own days, the same as, you know, for yourselves. Look at what's around you and what you need to do. Do you actually need to do it? Is it something you want to do? Is it creating joy for you? If you're feeling sad, honour it. Do some time meditating even deeper on what's coming forward for you. All those things. Um, yeah. So, I want to say just go with the flow oh, as well. Well done, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I, put it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> and do you know what? We can surrender to all this energy and just choose to make choice. Um, Choose to make the choice to be happy and just allow mm -hmm. things to flow. You know, if you'd asked me late last year what I had planned for this year, I would have said going with the flow, whatever spirit is putting in front of me. You know, I've had the card app go live this year, which I didn't even see it coming or the opportunity to do that. Got um, notification last night that I'm up for a award in the International Psychic Association, so people can vote in that side. And you know, it it's just crazy the things that have come up. So I want to say, when you surrender and you go with that energy, what will flow, sort of thing, because it's us that block a lot of things. Yes. And it when is. we trust and surrender, it's a whole different world. And that's the operating word, I think, too. It is actually trust, trusting mm. what you're receiving from spirit and your guidance and surrender yeah. to what they have, which is usually the bigger picture that we can't see because we have our little yeah. narrow headlight on compared to that's one. It. Full and the blinkers. Um, yeah, the blinkers. <laughs> you know, whatever you might be describing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's thank it. you, Leanne. There's no limits in life. We can deal with the stuff as it comes up. Oh, yeah. Just look at the medals. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, You're thank welcome. You thank those you. who actually join in in our chat streams and even those who in the replay field comment, you can still comment in that chat stream afterwards. It's just not live, obviously. Um, but I get notifications of them coming up. I suppose it's part of the MyTimeTV.live notification system. Because I'm part of that, I get them. So, you know, it's all the, the connected web that we actually are. We are one. And yeah. uh, it's lovely to share the energy with everybody today. Take it out into the world and manifest what you need to be doing for your own lives. Okay. Definitely. Remember it all and us. Yeah, and experience in the best way you can. It's all you can do. So thank you. Namaste yeah. to everybody. And next week it will be back to 10.30 and I hope without the glitches. Well, my expectation and intention is 10.30 next week on Tuesday. <laughs> Have a happy oh, Easter, everyone, for those that celebrate yeah. it too. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Beautiful. Leanne. And everyone, Bye, Bye for now. Well.